Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe, and we're going to be playing some Monster Madness, uh, the weekend arena event where you get rewarded for playing creatures with converted mana cost four or greater. Uh, you get to draw a card each time. So a lot of the format's been green base decks, big monster creatures that way, like monster style uh, stompy decks. So we've already played a blue-green ramp deck that looks to leverage Nisa, some of the entrancing melody effects, and a bunch of hydras. So that's already up on YouTube right now. So now we're going to switch it up to something a little bit different. It's a heavy removal based uh, Rakdos black-red deck. Um, so it's going to be using either like a lot of removal and then a bunch of evasive threats. So in the two drop slot, we have Dusk Legion Zealot, which cycles itself, helps us get our land drops for our other drop, or like our higher converted mana cost creatures. We have Yarrick's Fenlurker, which it, early on, it basically forces them to exile a card from their hand, and it serves as a blocker. Might end up cutting this, but I wanted to try it out. We have Removal Suite of Cast Down, Bedevil, and Vraska's Contempt, as well as Ravenous Chupacabra, which when it enters the battlefield, draws us a card and kills a creature. We have Rekindling Phoenix, which draws us a card now and is just a recursive blocker or attacker. Then we have a package of Doom Traveler, oh, sorry, Doom Whisperer, uh, Demanding Dragon, Ilarg, Ilarg, can't pronounce that one, and Skargan Hellkite to just really close out the game quickly, and two Eldest Reborn to wrap things up to serve as removal and reanimation. Um, so we'll run it through some games. I've actually started a league with this, but it got disconnected from the server. So we'll continue this league and then we'll fire up another one. I ended up just uh, like conceding the game just so I can actually record this again. Um, so we'll get started. So some exciting news for the channel. Um, I have been added on as a content creator for Aether Hub. So I'll be doing some article series hopefully on there in the near future, similar to the budget deck series we've been doing on Reddit. Uh, as well as all my deck lists, everything like that will be now uh, housed within Aether Hub. So you can find all my content there. Um, I'll continue being active on Reddit, so don't worry about that. Um, so this hand's a little slow, but we'll try it out. Um, yeah, so everything's green in this format. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so that's some exciting news. Also, if you are a patron of TCG player um, and you are putting in any orders in the near future, it'd be great if you could use my affiliate code. Um, so it'll be listed uh, below in the comments. So I'm going to shock myself here just to keep the devil open because um, I want to start casting my spells. Uh, yeah, so I am a, Twitch, a TCG affiliate. So if you're ordering any, something anyways, if you can use the code in uh, the deck description below, uh, on YouTube, it'd be great. Um, it's a free way to support the channel through basically a, a purchase that you're already doing. Uh, so our opponents missed some land drops. Looks like they're on the Grow Spiral Hydra plan. So they spiraled, drew an extra card. Still couldn't get it done. And at this point, we were just going to go Hellkite, Hellkite and overwhelm them. So we'll take the win there. Wasn't really a demonstration of the deck. I want to try some off-green uh, deck lists. We'll probably do like an angels list next, maybe. Seems like that could be fun. Let me know in the comments, too, what you've been playing, what you've been enjoying. Uh, this hand's a little bit based on us drawing lands, but we have a cast down for the first threat. Uh, refreshing to not see a force just yet. Opponent did show up with a mono red deck. I respect this man's disregard for the theme. I actually think we're probably okay. Because we just start getting some rekindling phoenix down and we're doing alright. I'm going to cast down this steamkin here. So I was kind of hoping we would have drawn a 3-drop there, or another removal spell. 
But next turn we can Chupacabra. And then go from there. Opponent's thinking. Thinking about why they entered this format. Okay, so they drop a Chain Whirler. So it's not bad that we got, uh... Ah, so they do have a Frenzy. We'll trade here. Uh, here... They take five damage. Probably the best. I doubt they're gonna sacrifice. I think the opponent thought he can sacrifice and then sacrifice again. Okay. So... I think we just do this. Get rid of the Chandra without taking damage. Overall, we're in a pretty good spot here. The clock doesn't really change that much. Full price light up the stage. Oh, we can Hellkite here. Deal nine and then reanimate the Chain Whirler and win. Alright. It's hard for Mono Red in this matchup, like in this format, to keep up just because if they can't kill you by turn four, you're generating a lot of value. Like each of our big bombs have basically replaced themselves. And here, like the, the opponent theoretically needs nine points of burn and then still dies. Three, Skewer the Critics doesn't kill us. Well, I guess they need three Skewer the kill Critics, play that land, and yeah, a little bit too late here. So we're going to win its style, and we will take their Chain Whirler. <laughs> Got him. Alright, two wins with the deck. So let's run it back. So with this format, you basically, you need four wins to go infinite and then you get it rares at the four win slot. So it's not bad. I like how they've reduced the cost entry to these formats. This is more interesting than M20 drafts been so far. Um, let's try it out. I think our curve might be too high. Get rid of the Doom Whispers, get some sort of early drop. Maybe Rick's Mati Reveler. Two lands. Two lands is all we need. Elf. Uh, 
Okay, so we can at least bedevil their first threat here and then hopefully draw one more land. Okay, so they're a little bit more all in. This could be a Yarrick deck. Uh, so, really want to hit this line now. They have the availability of five mana. Yeah. So we're gonna kill Yark. They really went for the Stranger Things vibe on uh, on that guy. Got there. Oh, that's sweet. We can reanimate this and get double demanding dragon triggers. And we get double riot triggers. So they could have ravenous chupacabras in their build. Seems good with uh, the enter the battlefield theme. Mesmerizing Bethnid. Uh, so these need to die before I could do anything. Okay, so we got the land drop. Opponent will poke in here, we'll just block the benthid. Doom Whisper is probably the play that will act. Um, let's get this Yark quicker. Uh, Cavalier Thorns. Okay, so probably want to go Doom Whisper here. Makes our Phoenix a little worse. We're gonna have to play defense with it. Ooh. I will take that. So they'll put the Yark likely on top of their library here. Cast it next turn. Well then, uh, probably Vraska's Contempt it. We can't re afford to have that down. In retrospect, killing it, the Cavalier might have been the wrong play there. We should have just set up the Doom Whisper. And they have three mana. So even if we draw a land, our curve's a little too high. Okay. 
We're still in a pretty good spot. Like, they have a bigger board state, but... We're still hitting them for more each turn. Okay, so the Assassin's Trophy there. We'll get a Swamp. Uh, we now still are a bit short. Just past turn. So if Rask is content, I want to make them think they have uh, a Yarrick activation online. Ah, so they got... Okay, so resolve... They will get rid of the Phoenix here, which sucks. Another Yark. So here, four, five. Cast down's good. Let's us play two spells this turn. Let's see how they attack in. So with the triggers on the stack, I can kill it. So this way they don't get the exile, they don't get an opportunity to cast their spells. Ability fizzles. It's a cool deck by the opponent. Incubation Druid's just there for ramp. That's probably the game. So here we can play out two, but they have a lot of blockers, the two life. So we, we block here. Take three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Gain two. Yeah, it doesn't make a difference. Bona goddess. All right. You're going to let us claim our prize. Okay, I'll, um, I think that's it for the deck. 
I'm not crazy about it. Like, I had some good feel for it, but I think it's a little clunky once you get to the top end. Uh, probably play another couple, two or three more variants of the decks just to see how they go. Um, if you enjoy the content, uh, drop a comment below. Let me know if you have any interesting decks that you've been playing in this format. And if you are on this, this uh, on YouTube and you're enjoying it, make sure to hit that subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a happy FNM and have a great weekend.